Welcome to the preview of the 2014 Nebraska women's basketball season here on Huskers.com. I'm Jeff Grish and I'm joined here by Nebraska coach Connie Ory. Coach, welcome to your gym here at the Hendricks Complex. We are going to preview um, this season of Nebraska women's basketball. And we're going to start by talking about what's happened since last season. Obviously, Nebraska went to the Sweet 16 last year for the second time in four years, but so much more has happened since then. The Huskers have completed the building of Pinnacle Bank Arena. They have received an NCAA regional bid. They are moving forward into the 2014 season. have already played an exhibition game with a win over Pittsburgh State. And Coach, you have got a lot going on in your program right now. It's a really exciting time to be a Husker. And a lot of positives. Um, everything you named is, is a huge positive for um, what we ha have done to, to build to this point. And it's, it's very, very exciting um, time in women's basketball here, here in Nebraska. And, and I didn't even mention during the offseason that Lindsey Moore, All-American last year at Nebraska, who was a first-round pick in the WNBA draft and went on to win a WNBA title in her first season with the Minnesota Lynx, or that another All-American, Jordan Hooper, earned a spot on USA Basketball World University game teams and happened to be the starting forward on a team that won the gold medal there. So you've got a lot going on. Your players have had a lot going on. And let's start our preview of this season with our senior All-American, Jordan Hooper, had a great summer. And I know you like what Jordan got accomplished this summer. How did she grow this summer? Well, let's go back to what, what we have going on, first of all. I mean, it, it's the reason we have a lot of great things going on is because we have good quality student athletes in our program. And Jordan is such a great example um, for everyone uh, in terms of her work hab habits and the kind of person she is character wise and how humble she is despite the fact that she's had such great success um, in the things that she's done um, since she's been here so um, her opportunity to play with USA basketball was um, I mean I don't know if it was, it's a once in a lifetime deal but it's definitely um, a, a extremely memor me memorable situation for her um, to, to play with uh, some of the greatest college players um, out there and she's in and she's in that group and she was one of 12 who were chosen for that for that team she started on the gold medal um, championship game team and um, in and she performed very well in the in the gold medal game so um, exciting thing for her but also you know I think that's reflective of the kind of kids that we have in our program and she's continued that uh, with what she's been awarded so far this season Jordan a preseason candidate for the wooden award preseason candidate for the Wade award and recently named a candidate for the Senior Class Award, which is an overall award that talks about what you're doing in the community in a class and, and really shows your loyalty and commitment. And, and she represents all those things to your program. Absolutely. Um, since the day she stepped on campus, she's she's been all that to our program and just a person of great character. And there's never been one time where I've had to question anything in terms of character with, with, uh, with Jordan. She's a person that's going to work hard. Um, she's very committed to um, her work habits and doing the right thing and what's exciting too I think and that's I think it's in part of, of um, her experience that she had with USA Basketball is she's becoming more confident as a vocal leader and that's something that we're going to need from her as well. And another player you're going to hope to get a lot of leadership from this season I'm sure is to your starter at forward junior Emily Cady from Seward. She does every little thing that every coach has to love. What does Emily bring to the table? Love, that's the thing. I mean, I, that, I love Emily Cady. She is um, ex very complimentary to Jordan, but um, also very, very productive. Um, she's really kind of our kid that does um, all the little things well. Um, doesn't have a real true weakness, um, and she's gotten stronger. You talk about weakness. Okay, maybe that was her weakness prior to um, this year. Um, she was not a real strong kid, but has definitely um, gotten stronger in the weight room, and she was very committed to doing that this summer. Uh, Two-time honorable mention, all Big Ten pick, Emily Katie, another junior forward who started for the last two years, Haley Sample. Really thought of as a defensive player, but this offseason, I think she's made offense a little bit more of a focus, and she's really got a lot of confidence in her game right now. She does, and she's trying to find ways to score um, for us in different ways. And I think we're telling, uh, we're asking all of our, um, the three that we've talked to, uh, already talked about in Jordan and Emily and in Haley, asking all of them to expand their games. And Haley's one of them. She's got to be able to knock down perimeter shots. Um, she's got to become a better cutter. She's got to um, continue to get offensive rebound putbacks for us and then do what she's been doing defensively uh, for the last couple years, lock down um, good offensive players. Those three players have started 67 straight games together in Nebraska's front court. They give Nebraska one of the best front lines in the Big Ten Conference. Moving to the back court in the junior class, 
Brandy Jeffrey. She's uh, started some games for you last year. She was hurt most of last season, off-season surgery this year, a little bit nicked up again heading into this preseason, but she's gotten better in her game as well, and, and you know, she's making progress. Yeah, we're, we're excited about the, the direction Brandy has taken, and, and again, last year she was one of the, you know, we weren't, uh, we, we had some nicks early, but she's somebody who had um, definitely some health issues throughout our season and it really kept her off the practice court and she's a kid that needs to be out there um, and getting rep repetitions in practice and she's been able to do that for the most part here this fall though she did miss a couple days due to practice with a sprained ankle but she's back at full force for us and did start in our exhibition game um, playing probably playing her best basketball right now. You know moving to her backcourt mate as a junior Tara Loudermill similar numbers in the exhibition game for T, she had 10 points and she had six assists and no turnovers. She was probably your most improved player last year throughout the course of the season, got consistent performance from her throughout the year. If you can get more of the same from T this year, you're going to be pretty happy about that. T Laudermill, um, for her, it, it's about being consistent. Can she bring it on a daily basis um, and be consistent for us? And, and that's really been um, the thorn in her side um, when she hasn't been as good and then when she has brought consistency she's really shown that she can be productive for us. And the last member of the junior class who actually was a member of the recruiting class with Jordan Hooper and that's Katie Simon. She is the fourth forward essentially for you right now and it's a really important role that she needs to fill. She's kind of stepping into a role vacated by Megan Williams graduation um, and so you need a lot of more of the same from Katie Simon that she gave you last year. She's been productive for two years when she's been out on the court, but you're probably going to expect some more minutes from her this year. Yeah, well, Katie's a good scorer. I mean, she's a good shooter, and she can score around the basket, and she's shown that um, when, when she's been out there for us. Um, we want her to continue to improve defensively in, in, in the area of rebounding. That's going to do it for the first part of our week-long season preview on Huskers.com of the Nebraska women's basketball team in 2014. Come back tomorrow and we'll take a look at the freshmen and the sophomores. For Coach Yori, I'm Jeff Grish. We'll see you tomorrow.